I praise and thank God for this beautiful opportunity God has given us to come in His presence on the 16th of October 2020. For our meditation, let's turn to Matthew chapter 5, verse 14 to 16. Matthew chapter 5, verse 14 to 16. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. As the creation, the sun, moon, and the stars give glory to the Lord, our Lord Jesus clearly states that a believer who is a child of God is supposed to glorify his heavenly Father through his deeds. When a person lights a lamp, he decides where to place it so that it may fulfill the urgent need. Likewise, we are placed in different circumstances by our Heavenly Father, who knows where there is a need for light. Many a times we murmur, looking at the darkness around us, and we wish to be in the company of other lamps and be comforted. But if we gladly keep shining in the place where our Heavenly Father has placed us, then our Lord will be pleased with our lives and be proud to be called our God. Remember, the more the darkness surrounds us, the more precious is the light that is shining in you. As a lamp cannot give light on its own, we too are devoid of light. If we are separated from Christ, if we fulfill the purpose for which we are lit, then heaven will take care of us. The light of a lamp is not for itself, but it is for others. Likewise, God has set us as light so that we may shine for the people who are wandering in darkness, that they may know the truth and receive an eternal life. A lamp does not speak about itself, but it silently does its job in all circumstances. Similarly, let our deeds and not our words reveal the works of darkness of the people that surround us so that they may be saved from divine condemnation. Many times we try to convince people about their mistakes quoting the good things we have done, and that is a mistake. A person will never be convicted seeing your life, but a sinner will know his real state when the true divine light pierces his heart. Our Lord Jesus refers to John as a burning and a shining light. John chapter 5 verse 35 He had the zeal for the Lord, that nothing could hold him back from burning to its best. The temple and the priestly set up did not bother him. He prepared the way for the Lord. He guided his disciples towards that light which offered them eternal life. He never took the praise of that work. He was happy to see that the name of the Lord is honored. As he was burning silently, his prayer was, He must increase, but I must decrease. John chapter 3 verse 30 most of the believers love to shine inside the church where they will receive, receive praise from the fellow believers. But Jesus wants us to shine before the worldly men so that through your good works, you may glorify the Father. Let us not shine to attract others towards us. But like a candle, let us shine and be happy as we decrease daily. Look at the lighthouse that gives light, which brings hope to the ships tossed in huge waves. They never shout aloud. They stand there alone in the darkness on the seashore, but bring hope and joy to the ships who have lost their way in the ocean. They save the lives of many before being drowned by the roaring waves. Let us also stand still and shine at the place where God has kept us so that His name is glorified. Let us pray to the Lord that He may help us to shine till our last breath. Let Him increase and let us decrease. Let us pray. Father, we praise You and thank You for this beautiful morning that You have given us. Thank You, Lord, for all Your goodness and Your mercy. When dark clouds are gathering around, people are living in fear. Thank you, Lord, for the light that you have lit in our lives. Help us to shine in this dark world. People who see us may see you.
more than our words. Lord, let the people see our walk and be comforted. Thank you, Lord, for the great hope, peace, and joy that you have given each one of us. Help us to be examples. Help us to be a blessing to the people who are searching for this light in this darkness. Thank you, Lord. We give you all glory and honor. In Jesus' most holy name we pray. Amen. May the Lord bless each one of us and help us to shine brightly wherever he has placed us. Our Lord is coming soon. May God bless each one of us. Maranatha.